If you want to request a tutorial, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe with notifications, and tell me what character I should make next. Now, into the tutorial. Hey guys, Blop here, and today, I'm going to show you how to make a Pichu plush. Now, on to the materials. The materials you will need are the Pichu plush pattern, black fabric, yellow fabric, black felt, white felt, and pink felt, along with matching thread, pins and needles, a glue gun, and scissors, along with stuffing. Now, cut out your pattern. Then you will have all of these pieces. You can also cut out smaller cardboard pieces for the feet, but this is optional. First, take two ear pieces and one ear lining piece. Then, align the ear piece on the inside of the ear lining piece and stitch it in all the way around. Then, this will be your result. Next, fold it over itself once it looks like this, and then you will stitch it along this straight edge, and this bottom right corner, and the bottom left corner, leaving the bottom edge open. Then, flip the ears right side out, and they will look like this. Next, take two of your head pieces, and you're going to align them like this, and stitch them along the right and left edges. Making sure that as you stitch them in, you place your ear on the inside like this, and stitch it between the pieces. Then, this will be the result with the ears on the inside. Next, you will sew up the two darts at the top, where the ears are located. This will be the result. Then, you will sew up the front dart of the bottom of the face, leaving the back edge open. And this will be your result. Next, you will take two of your arm pieces and stitch them together all the way around, leaving this left edge open. Then, you will have this. Next, you will take two of your body pieces and stitch them together along the left and right edges while having your arms on the inside of the body, like this. Sew them in just like you did the ears and the head, except this time your arms will be stuffed. Then, your body will look like this. Next, take your two tail pieces and sew them together all the way around the edge, leaving this short edge open. Next, you will fold your body like this and stitch up this bottom edge. You will also take your tail piece and sew at the top of the back edge of the body. It will look like this. Then, you will sew up these top two darts. I forgot to sew my tail in on the inside, so I've sewn it on on the outside with a ladder stitch. You can do the same if you forgot to stitch yours in. Then, this will be the result, but I'd recommend doing a stitch to lift your tail higher. Next, do a ladder stitch between the head and body, making sure that the ladder stitch of the head is facing towards the tail. Then, this will be the result. Next, you will take two of your neck fur pieces and stitch them together along the left and right edges. This will be it. Make sure you flipped it to where the stitches aren't visible, and then slide it on. You can also squish your Pichu's body to make the body more circular. Then, this is the result. Next, as an optional thing you can do, you can cut out a small piece of cardboard that's smaller than your foot and glue it into the bottom foot piece. Make sure that it's smaller than the foot so that you can still stitch the top foot in. Then they'll look like this. Make sure that you've mirrored the pieces so they don't turn out the same. Then, you will take your top foot piece and place it on top like this. Then stitch it on all the way around leaving this edge open. You will do the same for the other foot, but leave the opposite edge open. Then, stuff it and ladder stitch the edges, and they'll look like this once they're sewn onto the body. Next, you will take your eye and shine pieces and glue the shine into the eye like this. Then, you will have this. Next, glue your details onto your face. This is the result. Next, you will take some black thread and begin to stitch in your nose like this by repeating multiple straight stitches to create the nose, making sure they get smaller the farther down you go. Make sure that you don't pull too tightly on the thread or else that can distort your face and nose. Also make sure that your thread doesn't knot or get caught on anything or else that can lead to problems and messing up your nose. All of this will also apply to the mouth. Then, once your nose is done, it will look like this, or it will look like this. Next up, you're going to embroider your mouth. For the mouth, you're going to do multiple straight stitches, curving upwards on the sides to create a smile.
Then, once you're done, you will carefully tie off your knot in the mouth, making sure that it isn't too big so that it isn't too noticeable. And then, once you've done that, your plush is finished! If you made this plush or are planning to, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe with notifications, and tell me what character I should make next. That's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.